Pet Pals TV continues with Tom Doc, our friend from Noah's and also Pet Pals TV. That's us. Now, <laughs> we know what we're going to talk about. Hypoallergenic dogs. I hear this a lot. Let's start off with the term. Um, what does that mean? Okay. Whenever you see hypo, hypo, think low or less. So if you are hypoglycemic, you have low blood sugar. Okay, not no, it's not no, non. It's not non, it's low no. or less. So a okay. hypoallergenic breed of dog or cat mm -hmm. should have less of the protein that causes allergies mm -hmm. in humans. So we're not allergic to their fur. We're allergic to the proteins from the skin, the proteins from the saliva, yep, that get stuck on the fur and then disseminate into our house. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's where the allergies come from. Okay. So all dogs are gonna produce that, all cats are gonna produce that. So all dogs, there is no such thing then as a non-allergenic dog. Correct. There are some dogs though that are less likely to cause allergies in humans, like Mabel. Believe it or not, Mabel, yeah. <laughs> so if you remember back, we did, we looked at Mabel and said, what is she? <laughs> and, and she's got schnauzer, schnauzer in her, which all three schnauzers, mini, giant, and standard, are all good for people with allergies. Okay. Uh, she has poodle in her. Poodle, I Again, mean, a lot of poodle. Right, listed. mini. T uh, toy and standard poodle. Okay. Uh, she also has Afghan hound in her, remember that? <laughs> and that's another breed that can be good for people with allergies. So the idea here is that these dogs, they generally have longer hair. Mm -hmm. The life cycle of the hair is different than like say a Mastiff or a Bernese Mountain Dog. She does not shed nearly as much right. as, as Stewie does at home. I mean, so I can mm -hmm. see where just the shedding alone, mm -hmm. it doesn't have, it can't stick on it as you said. Right, it doesn't so, stick, yeah. it doesn't so, stay in the environment. And here she comes. <laughs> Right, because I'm Whoops. talking about you. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got you. It's okay. Uh, thank you. And so, you know, you're going to keep a lot of that protein out of the home right. by that kind of dog. Now, dogs that are hypoallergenic often need more grooming than other dogs, okay? And that's okay, you know, as long as you're prepared for that. And there are some things you can do to help you if you are allergic. Uh, mm -hmm. There are some things you can do in your house. Wash your carpet more, wash your dog. Wash more. your dog, yeah, maybe once a week. And again, maybe wow. the grooming's gonna take care of that. Uh, another thing you can do, which I have found, uh, my wife's allergic to cats and we have a cat at home. Oh. Um, keep the dog or cat out of your bedroom. All the time. It's so hard. Though. Yeah, it is hard, it's but hard. if you can get eight to 10 hours a night of yeah. good sleep without those proteins kind of stimulating your immune system, you're gonna do better. Okay. If you do have a dog, if there's allergies in the household, talk with your veterinarian too about the grooming and how often you can bathe the dog. You see what he did there? I see what he did. I do it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, it's always a pleasure. Always. Thank okay. you so much, mm -hmm. okay. And in the meantime, have lots of Kleenex, yeah. right? All right, All right, in case you sneeze. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back with more on Pet Pals TV.